golden dragon just 67 UN. Last year, we tried messing around with a 3D printer, but it was as ancient as my grandma SVCR. This year upgraded, baby. First up, we BE got a snazzy glass top cover, followed by the display control panel fancy, right a roll of pie printing stuff, and some tiny tools are also included. Hop on the handle, slap on the display, and don't forget to unscrew those three screws on the platform. Ready flip the switch, fire it up, and boom you're connected to Wi-Fi faster than you can find your password. This machine is basically a genius it can adjust the frequency automatically, like magic. Head to the settings and select the forbidden material option sounds intense, right. Once that is done, download the software, and crack open that retractable knife I prepped earlier. Uh -huh. You can monitor the printing process by controlling the axis on the left no extra support needed for this blade. Simple as pie. Now, start slicing no, not your pizza this is 3D slicing. The fun part, choosing the orange fish wrist printing don't ask, just go with it. One click and boom you're printing. No USBs needed here. It takes about 4 hours, and you can spy on it from your computer, thanks to the built-in camera, or just check your phone through the EPO. And did I mention it LL create a time-lapse video of the whole process fancy. The first retractable knife printed perfectly flat as a pancake. My son s definitely gonna battle me for it. So I'm printing my wife a purple one and adding some funky 5 color flair. Next up, the golden dragon. Set that bad boy to 25 centimeters and no support needed. I grabbed two shiny new rolls of silk gold filament, just 65 UN each. For extra stability, I used solid glue on the tray, and to avoid a power outage disaster, I connected an outdoor power supply. It took 33 hours, but the dragon turned out gorgeous. The silk gold color is stunning, and the new printer delivered flawlessly minimal flying threads, just a little roughness on the dragon's antennas. I even had a bit of filament left, so why not make some mini ingots boom three of them? Lastly, I saw this cool cherry lamp and cat had cherry lamp trending online. So, obviously, I had to print one. I whipped up the main body and popped in a TV light strip for the wing's extra lamp beads for maximum owl power. After a week of tinkering, I printed all sorts of fun stuff. It's super cool, but let us be real these materials are pricey.